Hi, this is Veera Gandhi and welcome to my 5-minute podcast called 3 Tips. In this short podcast, I share 3 tips on all matters of life and just about every topic or situation imaginable. I like to walk the talk and will share my real life experiences as I give you 3 easy tips to shift closer towards finding answers to things. Today, we will talk about three tips to cultivate happiness in our life. Every time I write tips on happiness, I feel that it's important to define what the word actually means to me and what it should mean to most people. Being happy is to be in a state of homeostasis, where as beings, we are effortlessly in tandem with all other things. Happiness is really the absence of friction, fear, sadness, or anxiety. Cultivating happiness, therefore, starts in the mind, in our inner core. It does not spring from external things. Once we imbibe this truth fully, We understand that we can cultivate our own happiness by shifting our thoughts, by actively choosing to do things we wish to do rather than by doing things we do not wish to do. We can seek to be in the present moment. After all, the present moment is always a happy moment. Especially if we know we have some sort of choice in every single moment of our lives, no matter what the situation is, we can bring happiness into it. My happy moment is to look at the stars before I sleep. I actively do that and I understand each time that we are all a part of those same stars. We are bits of stardust meant to shine and thrive as part of the cosmic whole. These positive thoughts, followed by a shower and a short meditation, keep me on my personal path of happiness and connectedness. So my three tips for staying happy are, the first, live in the present, be in the present moment continuously. Being in the present moment continuously or as much as possible, focuses one's attention on what's happening right here, right now. That in itself offers pure, undiluted happiness. The second, practice vairagya. When we cultivate the quality of vairagya or non-attachment in our lives, it helps to free us from maya jal or delusion of what could be or will be. When we are free from that, we feel happy. The third, most important, smile. Make time to smile and laugh. It's the easiest space to put us back onto the path of happiness. Here's to you living your happiest life on the planet. I'm Mira Gandhi and these are my three tips.